Uh, Gary, a 2-1 defeat today, but uh, what did you make of uh, the performance? Um, it was uh, a poorer performance than we've had previously. Um, uh, certain, uh, there wasn't too many individuals that, that uh, was at the top of their game. Um, I thought a few looked a bit leggy. I mean, that's not a bad thing because we, uh, you know, this eight, nine, ten of this group played on Tuesday, um, and I thought that uh, we created some chances. That uh, probably more than them actually. Um, we controlled the game in the first half hour, I would say, maybe the first half, and then they controlled the game in the second half. You know, it was it our tempo in the first half and their tempo in the, in the, in the second. And you know, credit to them, they're a top, top half team at the second division. So we've got to be a little bit realistic. I know, you know, even me, <laughs> because you know, we, we've got to beat the National League teams. I know because it was a local derby and it would have been great to have beaten them. But, um, you know, we, we take the opportunity to wish them well. But uh, it's given us something to think of and me to not just praise them. I could get into them a little bit and I'm sure our training will be very um, concentrated and focused for the Boreham Wood game this week because they're all, I've got a group of lads that don't like losing a football match and uh, that's not a bad thing. Um, I thought the team uh, pushed on though in the second half a little bit towards the end they were pushing trying to find a way back into the game weren't they? Yeah we were towards the end but we, we didn't quite have the uh, quality to uh, to break them down um, at the end and uh, you know they got a few experienced lads in their, in their team and you know, if you, you look at the centre halves and the, and the centre forwards, and really that was probably the, the difference a lot of it between the two teams, where um, they 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 dictated their centre halves dictated our centre forwards a little bit, and and then their centre forwards dictated our centre halves a little bit, and they're all youngish, so they've all got to learn from that, and uh, I promise you we'll be ready. For, for the Boreham Wood game. How settled in your mind is your uh, starting 11? Yeah, it's close. I would say there's nine or ten that are probably in, um, and then there's just one or two, but those one or two are, are, are very much a part of the squad, so the other five or six are very much part of the squad, and uh, I'm hoping to bring in uh, three people, three lads on Monday, that will give us a um, a stronger group, you know. So with all due respect to the the young lads, you know, of course at the moment they're still learning. It, it's fantastic for them to have the experience, but um, yeah, we need a we need uh, two or three uh, lads that we know that will, will compete in the national conference at the moment. We'll speak again in the week, but how exciting is it to be uh, seven days away from the start of the season? Well, I'm not that excited right now <laughs> after game B, um, and the dressing room's not that excited. But we'll have Sunday. We'll have a nice Sunday lunch with our families, and uh, and then we'll come back refreshed on Monday. And then we really look, look, make sure that the week is spent looking forward to Saturday's game. So, you know, if the if the crowd can uh, stick with us through thick and thin. Uh, which is all part of supporting a football club, supporting their players that have gotten back to this level. Um, and then we can push on and, and it'll, let's bring the best out of the players. You know, let me do the screaming and shouting in the dressing room and uh, let's create a really great atmosphere out here on Saturday.